Hey guys! Hi everyone! So today's video is a special request by one of you. Woo. Actually, every video is really a special request by one That's of you. True. Um, but one of you guys had messaged us and said, um, please, please do a translucent powder video. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Look because at all these translucent powders. I feel like you and I have been on the hunt, mainly me, but you're just getting on there yeah. too, uh, for the right translucent powder. Um, we both started off die hard. Laura Mercier fans. Laura Mercier fans. You guys know for the last how many years I since know. we've been doing YouTube videos, we are diehard Laura Mercier fans, and it's still good. It's still a good translucent powder. Nora swayed away from it maybe like three or four months ago, and very recently, I started to notice that it just looks different on me. Yeah. Um, I just don't have that like flawless under eye look anymore, so I also started to venture out, and we want to share with you guys um, our finds because we've spent a lot of money, and if we yeah. can save you money, then this video is a success. Because not all of the ones that we've bought recently are good worth the money yeah, yeah and some of them are pretty expensive so we're gonna go through each one laura mercier um is good so it's still one of my favorites yeah so it's definitely in the top contenders we're not we're just trying to find new things yeah um we're not ruling it out we're just exploring our options so right after laura mercier i went for the Givenchy um powder the matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder so this one you're not actually supposed to wear it under your eyes you're supposed to wear it in your t-zone basically and it's it's good it's not life-changing it, it was, was expensive. expensive it's around like 58 bucks and translucent powder like finishes so quickly. Yeah, it's definitely. I I wouldn't think it's. I wouldn't suggest you guys go out and buy it. Basically, I don't think you it's wouldn't wear, it. buy it again. Yeah, I literally barely use this now, and it's like in the corner. I'm like, man, I paid all that money. Every time I see it, I'm like, I'm gonna use it today <laughs> because I'm like, I'm not gonna waste the product. But I wouldn't suggest you guys buy this. However, I did replace the Givenchy with a Kat Von D Locket translucent powder. Yeah. And this one I really like. So I could say I like the Kat Von D Locket more than the Laura Mercier. Okay. Which is like our yeah. top one. I had heard good things about the Bobbi Brown one. And this is the Sheer Finish Loose Powder. And I went ahead and I bought it. But it's a little too yellow for me. Oh, yeah. It, it is looks like the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, so does it come in a lighter this like is called light? pale yellow this is the color that I tried I'm not a big fan of it I kind of actually forgot that I had bought it and started using it because I ended up going back to the Laura Mercier so this is basically only been used maybe three or four times I did give it a try I wouldn't buy it again and maybe 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 I'll use it my t-zone or something like that like i if i feel bad wasting it because yeah. it is expensive you know you pay so much money for these products yeah. and you're like oh do i want to use it um not a fan of the bobby brown i have to admit which leads us to contender number five so this is the newest product we got it's not new but like for us it's new yeah the tart um what is it smooth operator smooth uh, a lot of you guys actually requested that we do a product review on this and it's very white yeah I, I like that that it's really white yeah um i'm just curious because a lot of times when it's like super super white it could have flashback, flashback. um so what ani and i are gonna do actually is apply our makeup right now and then do um wear the product for a week yeah. and do a follow-up to let you guys know if this is better than the locket foundation because it's not just about I mean, the first impressions. sometimes powder. first impressions can be really great we want to wear it in the daytime we want to wear it in the nighttime and take some photos and see like give you guys a full honest review because honestly we're tired of spending money on translucent powders seriously and if we find a really good one we want to make sure that like we're giving you guys a really good review on it and yeah. an honest opinion so for now our order goes with the kat von d and then the laura mercier and then these two is like don't, don't even waste your money so possible third. we're gonna see if the tart replaces the Kat Von D and the Laura Mercier.
Hey guys, so I'm wearing the Tarte Translucent Powder under my eyes and it's crazy that how white it's making my under eyes and I definitely don't recommend this product. I know Ani took a picture and it was crazy flashback as well, but I just want you guys to see. I don't know if it's showing on camera, but look at look at this. Look at all the white that it's leaving behind and I even... Um, <laughs> Her eyes are so white. It's crazy. Why? Like... And I, you, do you know I how much I wipe glasses on, girl? <laughs> I know. We were out in public together, and Ani's like, uh, "Are you wearing the tar? You might want to put your glasses on." So definitely, the Kat Von D Locket uh, translucent powder is number one. I'm gonna make Ani go buy it and try it as well, like use it because yeah. it's really, really good. I heard good things. So I will try it out. That's. Definitely number one. We just wasted our money on the tart, but no, we didn't. It's for you guys. <laughs> so so save your money. your money. Yeah, save your money, you guys. So I already shot my review, but I wanted to shoot it again right now just to show you guys. What the hell is this? You see this? This is crazy. No translucent powder has ever done this to my eyes. Wow.